Podcast. It's coming up on the quarter past six and you are looking live at a few high clouds over downtown Charlotte's Villa as viewed by our East Market Street weather camera. Those clouds will make for a picturesque sunrise over the next hour. It's a pleasant start to the day, but expect a warming trend. Hello, I'm 29 first alert meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. That is one of the next big things I'm tracking here in the weather center. A heat wave is on the way. So after several days and nights with below average temperatures near record low lows earlier in the week in the 40s. Well, that's about to change, folks. The jet stream is pushing northbound and a heat wave will be expanding eastbound as we head into the last full week of August. Pleasant sunrise over the Blue Ridge Mountains. Expect a similar sight over the next couple of mornings. In that first forecast on this Saturday, a quick rise in temperature from the 50s and 60s this morning into the 70s and 80s by midday. We should top out in the low to mid 80s, a couple degrees below average for this time of the year, but a couple degrees warmer compared to yesterday. By the way, sunset is before 8 p.m. We will not have a sunset after 8 p.m. again until later on next April. Numbers across the board are pleasant in the 50s. A good morning. You really won't break a sweat hanging out the door to go to uh, take a walk, a jog, or walk the dog. Very pleasant conditions invigorating this morning. There's a live view showing us fair skies over the I-81 corridor into Augusta County and the Stanton vicinity. And the big picture is showing us our fair weather friend high pressure. Pressure. That is going to keep us high and dry for at least a couple of more days, but the main storm track stays across the Rockies, the northern tier of the U.S. Eventually, though, some active weather will head our way towards maybe Labor Day weekend. We'll see about that. Dry air mass will continue today and tomorrow, but the dew points are going to increase, especially towards the middle and end of next week, and especially on Thursday and Friday, it will feel oppressive. Small storm chance on Monday. Day. And it looks like by the end of the week, Thursday, Friday, some spotty rain chances may be a better chance for some scattered storms by next weekend. High temperatures in the 90s next week, overnight lows warmer in the 60s and the 70s, so a heat wave is on the way. It looks like Wednesday may be the hottest day of next week. In your 29 first alert forecast today, mostly sunny skies. It's a very pleasant start to the day, but expect a quick rise in temperature. This dry atmosphere, not only does it cool down rapidly overnight, but it warms right back up in the afternoon. Highs will top out in the uh, low 80s across the Shenandoah Valley, mid 80s for central Virginia with a light southeast breeze, and that southeast breeze will give us a warming trend here shortly. But tonight, one more night in the 50s to low 60s, mainly clear skies. There could be some patchy fog along the river drives. Sunday's forecast pushing 90, maybe just shy of that for most of you, slightly more humid with highs of 85 to 90 by 2 to 4 p.m. tomorrow. Seven day forecast. Well, we're in the low 60s tomorrow night. There's an isolated storm chance on Monday. I don't think many areas will have widespread rain anytime soon. In the 90s on Tuesday and Wednesday, a lot more humid. I think Wednesday is our hottest day of the work and school week. Mid 90s on Thursday, isolated storm chances by next Thursday and Friday.